All right, this is the first video where I start to talk about the percentage increase or decrease. Yeah, now we have done several things so far. We've connected percentages to fractions and decimals. Uh, we found the percentage of an amount, yeah, and we have compared quantities um, um, in a percentage. Okay, but now percentage increase or decrease. In 2006, a school has 600 students, and in 2014, it has 1,400 students. Calculate a percentage increase. Okay, now as you can see, from 600 to 1400, that is more than double. Yeah, so the percentage increase is going to be more than 100%. Okay, now in general, when they're asking you percentage increase or decrease, we'll get back to that question in a minute. So the percentage, I'm going to say increase or decrease, eh, going up or down, is, and now that's something perhaps you want to remember, the change in value over the original value and all of that times a hundred percent that just fits or actually it just doesn't fit huh? but you don't want a fraction you want a percentage of times a hundred percent okay let's go back to this question again huh? so from 600 to 1400 students more than double now what is the change in value how many students more are attending this school well, that is 1,400, take away 600. So the change is 800. And what is the original value? How many students originally went to this particular school? And that is 600. So to calculate the percentage increase, yeah, because, it inc uh, it because it increases, I should say, I do the change in value over the original value, and I times that by 100% to get a percentage, okay? And if you do that in your calculator, you're gonna get 133 and a third, uh, 0.3333%, okay? And I already told myself, well, it's more than double, yeah? The amount of students at that school doubled, even more than double, so I'm looking for the answer more than 100%, okay? Percentage increase and decrease. The change in value over the original value times it by 100% uh, to get a percentage. Okay, let's try two more example questions and I'm sure you can do this yourself. I'll see you at the next video.